So last time in the comment section down below, you guys voted to see Genji, and here we are today again with Genji and the player Necros. Now with that said, if you want to see a certain character in the future, hit the subscribe button, hit that notification button, and please tell me in the comment section down below who you want to see, and I'll try to do them ASAP. Anyway, straight on to Genji. Right there we saw that we actually use wall climb instead of strict strike to get to high ground. Now I know that that's really simple, but I feel like a lot of people waste that. And a lot of people just kind of throw away their Swiss strike. Fortunately for us, since we had it, we could get close, we could almost kill the soldier, and then we could get away. But yeah, just make sure that you aren't wasting that on random stupid stuff. Um, as far as this game in particular, it's going to be kind of hard for us. We do have a one-trick Symmetra that's going on offense, but you do have to kind of remember that sometimes you just might not be able to do that great on offense, but your comp might be great for defense. So maybe play it that way. Try your best, try to carry, but remember that on the other mode, you might be doing well. And just really don't give up just because you don't do that great on offense. As well, what we're seeing right here often is the Mercy Tempo Res. I feel like this is very good. It essentially allows you to push out much further as long as you're still in the Mercy's line of sight, go for picks, and then if you get picked, well, you can be rezzed and go for more. You can also get a lot more ult charge now, as you see a very early ult coming out from us. We're killing everybody, and yeah, it essentially does allow all of that. Now, one problem I feel like is about Genji right now is that unless the Mercy's in a closed space, it's kind of hard to kill her, the enemy one, and it's kind of hard to hit her with your ultimate. We do see a lot of tricks, though, from Necros, you know, jumping all over the place, getting on high ground, Swiss striking onto the wall, then climbing up the wall, and then going for ultimate, all the stuff like that, and it overall works at least somewhat okay. Um, <laughs> luckily right there, we also did get the Mercy, and we got an ult, overall quite nice. I'm going to tell you guys, though, don't overextend for a pick. If there are multiple people versus you and near you, play it safe. In this situation, you know, we can try to go after this Winston, play a little bit safer, and then back up when we know that he can get, uh, get a lot of damage out to us. You don't have to go for these super duper risky picks. Maybe if you're completely losing that game, you could, but in most situations, go for the safer stuff, and then once the safer people are kind of dying, or once your team really has them under wraps, or they're focused on your teammates, then you can go in the back line and try to take out that Mercy. With that said, Mercy is pretty much right now always the person you want to kill first if you possibly can. Even if you die for the one for one, it's pretty much always worth it because you might die and then you can be rezzed by your own mercy and there's no real bad thing about that. Right here again, we see ourselves with our sword doing a ton of damage as we saw right there. She was stuck in that closed room, no one to jump, uh, jump to. And yeah, that, that worked pretty well. Overall, again, just remember you can push a little bit further. Now, what we just barely saw a second ago is that, you know, Mercy was moving all over the place. Mercy was kind of hard to hit. And we saw that we actually used our alternate fire when the enemy is moving around rapidly and is very hard to kill. Even the best Genjis don't try to track their primary fire for the most part and hit, you know, three headshots in a row. They go for the saver thing, they go for the thing that's going to hit more often, and I guess it does technically do a slightly higher amount of DPS. So, if you're close up, or if you're just moving, or fighting someone that moves a lot, even at medium range, you can go for your alt fire. Right there we saw something that was pretty great, which was that if you die on high ground, and then someone comes up there, if you get rezzed, you can kill whoever's on high ground, or push them off, and give yourself an advantage because you don't really need it way too much. Mainly as Genji, you aren't, you know, fighting for high ground to have it yourself, you're fighting for high ground to make so other people can't have it. Right there we saw something that was kind of nice, which was that also, we could get ulted by Anna without our ult actually being up. We could charge it up really quick and then go for it. Unfortunately, it didn't work out way too well for us, but we see that we did get that ult really quickly. And you know, if more of our teammates would have been up, that might have worked at least a little bit better. Um, I think as we continue, you know, we're pushing up, we're doing fine. But when you want to actually kill the enemy, what you often want to do is jump right on top of them to the left and to the right, making it very hard for them to hit you, but don't really jump behind them because often you're going to jump into the enemy team's line of sight, especially, you know, like a Zenyatta or a McCree or anyone like that, and you might get blasted from there. So just play kind of safe. I think we see this around right here. You see we're getting a little bit behind her, but not like all the way behind her trying to super flank her. We're just trying to get out our damage and play kind of safe. Unfortunately, even we went a little bit too far out. And died and our healing wasn't really there but do just kind of keep that in mind um and as we finish off this you know we just get blown up we get rezzed again and it works out pretty well um but just do kind of re uh, remember to yourself that you can't always stomp every single game and this game i don't feel like we did bad necessarily we got a lot of nice team wipes but we couldn't quite get everyone and our team comp wasn't quite the best on offense and it was overall wasn't that great and we couldn't quite you know get to even second point but just remember that just because you can't stomp on one area doesn't mean that the enemy team is going to stomp you. 
and you can often make a lot of outplays and a lot of great stuff on defense and that's what we're really going to be focusing on a little bit more even with that said though i feel like necros did really do a good job on offense he didn't really play way too pick heavy um he played just more with his team and took the picks that were very free like right there we saw that soldier we went in we got the free pick and unfortunately we are kind of getting targeted by uh, the junkrat and the winston one thing about junkrat is that you, it's kind of hard for you to actually beat him um but you you can if he is low and we got him but unfortunately we couldn't get on the car and there we go that's our offense pretty good though not the worst offense and while we didn't get way too far you could see a lot of just good stuff that we were going for uh but yeah you know sometimes it just isn't the best for us now on to defense though we are going to see a little bit better on defense our team comp we have mercy we have Symmetra, we can do a lot of stuff with that and of course we have mccree who's very consistent while us as genji is a little bit less consistent but we can get more picks and we can get more burst off at a medium range and we can close gaps so you kind of want to keep that into your mind as far as team comp um but you know if you, if you one trick this character it actually does work pretty well compared to most other characters you want to one trick right there of course just blocking any damage we can right here though what we're seeing which is nice is that we're actually jumping on the high ground to get easier poke because if you're on the high ground and then you're also jumping it's very easy to get poke and just kill whoever you see right here we see a very good decision to not fight against Junkrat in that situation. You really want Junkrat to waste all of his crap, waste all of his abilities, waste, you know, wait until he's kind of lower HP and then take him out, then take him out, you know, when you can get the one shot. You can't really beat him when he's at his full cooldowns because he can just shoot you once and then go for the mines and you're kind of dead. Sure, you could try to reflect it, but it's it's not that great for you. And honestly, you should probably wait a little bit, um, but you can, of course, force him out of the fight a little bit, maybe not kill him, but be pressure right there. And that's what you can often do as Genji, just pressure people back, pressure them away. Right now we have a TP, so that's kind of nice for us. But yeah, that's kind of what you want to go for with that. Um, as far as some other pressure stuff you can go for, also spamming your primary fire at people in the back line can be amazing pressure. Right there, we're shooting the Zarya shield, but we are trying to get her down as fast as we possibly can so we can't take out the Mercy. So it does make sense in that situation, and we take out the Zarya anyway, so the shield doesn't really matter. But as far as spamming people in the enemy back line, it can really win you a lot of team fights. Even if you don't get the kill, if you just force people to go back because they're like a fourth HP and they're afraid of death, well, you can make so they won't be as nearly effective. They're probably going to hit less shots being further away, and a lot of their abilities probably won't work out, and their positioning isn't just quite as good. So you can try to do that as Genji if you aren't getting all these picks all the time. Um, we also saw earlier that we had a very nice ultimate as our Zarya player. But we didn't happen to waste our own ultimate on it. Remember that you don't have to ult just because everyone else does. If you feel like, you know, it's, it's a pretty good fight, then you can go for it. Right there, though, we saw a really great ult. And this is what I was talking about earlier. We jumped up the wall, switch striked up. We were way in the sky. We went for our own ult. And we just, like, essentially completely team wiped by ourselves. No one knew that we were there. We took out the mercy. We took out everyone. Yeah, that was, that was a nice thing to do. And yeah, try to emulate that if you possibly can. I mean, I probably can't, but... That's a good way to get up to the Mercy, and that's a good way to safely get a ton of damage out. And, yeah, um, often as Genji, you don't really need to combo your ult with that many other people. Um, you can often get kills just from people out on the ground with your regular fire and with your Swiss Strike. But, you know, it's still a good idea to generally do it. More on offense than defense, though. On defense, it can sometimes be wasteful. And as we saw right there, just with your ult itself, you can do quite well. So, yeah, you can try to go for the Climb Wall, Shift, Fall Ult and do anything like that and that uh, that does also give you very good field of view of the enemy team back here we see a zenyatta all the way by himself and nobody's protecting the zenyatta because everyone's focusing on helping their mercy so do you remember that if you do see a support that's just open all the time that nobody is really paying attention to like zenyatta or anna or lucio or anything like that do go for the free pick right here we see us using alternate fire it's a little bit hard to take her out we're trying to get as much as we can she runs straight into the reinhardt e a uh, little awkward for her, but it worked out generally for us. They switched to Pharah, and this is a bit harder for us. I'd say Genji is a pretty hard person to fight against, and it does take a lot of patience. Farah even more in a lot of cases, because you can't really fight her until she comes into close range uh, choke points. Uh, the problem is that some maps don't really have close range choke points, and that's where she can feel very, very, very hard to deal with. And for the most part, you just kind of have to ignore her and go for her teammates, but in this case, it worked out okay. We also got a super nice Graviton. We see this Zenyatta in the back line. Unfortunately, we can't really hit him way too much because he's a bit too far away. But what we did see, which was nice, was that we were jumping all over the place, trying to be hard to hit, and the Zen couldn't really hit us way too much. You know, instead of just jumping straight up and down, we were moving left and right all over the place. Yeah, that was pretty fine. And then, of course, the fur eventually does kind of have to come down a bit, or quite a bit do come down a little bit, you know. So, we kind of picked him off at the very end. That was quite nice. 
Uh, unfortunately for us, you know, there's a super long team fight at the end. They just keep coming in over and over again. We can't get the Mercy at the very beginning, which is unfortunate. But luckily, since our Mercy is still doing fine, we get a res and we can get teleported and we can overall do quite well. Our ultimate isn't up right here, but yet you do have to kind of remember that you don't really need your ultimate for team fights. If you can get a kill, then you can reset, you know, kill somebody else, reset, kill somebody else. Um, while, yeah, you probably should try to pick off anyone. As well, if you do happen to learn the Swiss Strike Distance, you can actually get a lot of picks that a lot of people probably don't think you can get, like as we saw right there, the Soldier. I probably wouldn't think you could do that, but you can. And I guess the final thing I'm going to say is that if you do kill the far before the Mercy, it's not as good of a choice, but it does force the Mercy to come to close range, so if you're ulting, it might force her to die. So, you know, that can be kind of cool. Anyways, there we go. That's all I'm going to say about this. Necros, I feel like, is a very good player. You can learn a lot from him. And we saw not the best situation turn into a win. So, you know, you can take it as much as you want to. Anyways, as always, guys, thank you all for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, make sure to leave a like. Press that subscribe button if you want to see more videos like this in the future. And comment down below who you do want to see. Anyways, as always, guys, thank you all for watching. And have a wonderful day. I'd like to thank Gilda.gg for sponsoring this video. And mainly helping me a lot through the adpocalypse. So, Gilded itself is a website focused on finding, founding, and expanding your gaming team with relative ease. You can schedule events, recruit new members, build team comps, and find teams to scrim with and to scrim against. Best of all to you guys, it's free. You can get started yourself with the link in the description below, and if you sign up by November 10th, you'll be entered into a chance to win a $50 Blizzard gift card. So, maybe I'll see you there.